Hello everyone, I am Chase at Rocky Mountain 8 FMC, giving you a closer look at the inline auxiliary power plug from Tusk. All right, so if you own a player side by side and you are planning to add any additional electrical accessories to the back of your UTV, something like a lighted whip, maybe a rear light bar, cargo lights, you could do a lighted license plate frame, or you could do under bed lights, well, something that's gonna make the job much easier so you don't have to cut into your OEM wiring harness is this auxiliary plug coming from Tusk. Now, the beauty of this is how fast and easy it is to install and then get your accessories wired up. So all you're gonna do is just disconnect your stock plug you have on your taillight now. Once you've done that, you're gonna take that in. You're gonna plug it into this end of your auxiliary plug from Tusk. Once you've done that, you're gonna take the other end of the auxiliary plug, just plug it right back into your taillight. Once you've done that, you can see the beauty is you've already got the wire spliced out. So your red wire is going to be for your key on power source, so that's going to be for your accessory that you're adding. This white wire is going to be for any additional brake lights that you want to add. Then you're going to have your black wire as your ground wire. So once you have this installed, it literally just takes a few minutes. All you got to do is just wire it up and you are good to go. So again, if you're going to be adding any additional accessories, like we mentioned earlier, and you want to speed the process up, you don't want to cut into your OEM harness, you want to have a nice clean look, this is the route to take. Also, like I said, very inexpensive. If you guys have any questions about these, feel free to leave your comments below, give us a call, or chat live online. We'll get your questions answered. They are machine specific, so you can click on the link at the end of this video to pick yours up. Just make sure you enter the make, the model, and the year of your Polaris UTV. That will ensure that you do get correct fitment. If you guys like this product spotlight, well, do not miss out. Get subscribed to our YouTube channel. That will keep you up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews like you saw today, as well as UTV builds that we're constantly rolling out. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails. Thank you.